Hi, let's construct PDA for following context free language. In previous lecture, I designed PDA for regular language. Let's design PDA for context free language. First language A power M, B power N, M, N greater than equal to 1, M equal to N. Or you can say A power N, B power N, N greater than equal to 1. So equal number of A followed by equal number of B. Here M, N minimum value is 1 that's why minimum string will be a b then it will accept a, a b b 3 a 3 b like this so equal number of a followed by equal number of b if it will be greater than equal to 0 then it will accept epsilon it is greater than equal to 1 that's why minimum string is a b for designing pda we need a stack and here topmost symbol is z0 let's design the pda for this now a is the initial state Let's take a string like 3a, 3b and epsilon. So for first a, topmost stack symbol is z0. If input symbol a, topmost stack symbol is z0, it tends to a z0. Means it will push a above z0. Now for next a, now topmost stack symbol is a. If input symbol is a, and topmost stack symbol is a then it will push a above a now for this a push a then for next a, it is a self loop so it will also push a now all a is pushed now for b for first b will pop one a just write down for b and topmost stack symbol is a then we'll pop it so we'll write a tends to epsilon this means we are popping a so for first B, we'll pop one A. Then there are more B. For that, we'll make a self loop on state B. And we'll write for input symbol B, if topmost symbol is A, it will pop A. For next B, it will pop next A. For next B, it will pop next A. Now we read the input string and stack is empty. There is just Z0 and epsilon is left. So by epsilon, it goes to final state by skipping Z0. Now this is the PDA for this language. There are two mechanisms. One is final state. Another is empty stack. Here we are going to final state. That's why it is a final state mechanism. If it will be written epsilon and Z0 tends to epsilon. Means we are also popping Z0. We are empty the stack. And we are going to some non-final state. Let's this is a non-final state. Then it is a empty stack mechanism. Rather than making this as a final state, if you will make this as a non-final and you will write Z0 tends to epsilon, then that will be a empty stack mechanism. Both are valid. Either you can use final state mechanism or empty stack mechanism. PDA accept in both way. In some book, you will see they are using both mechanism. You can write here epsilon Z0 tends to epsilon and here you can consider final state. They are considering both. Here m n value is greater than or equal to 1. If it will be greater than or equal to 0, then what will happen? If it will be greater than or equal to 0, then it will accept epsilon, then a b 2a followed by 2b like this. So what we will do for epsilon, we will add a transition to the final state. You can simply write epsilon z0 tends to z0. Then it will be PDA for m n value greater than or equal to 0. This is a transition diagram. You can write in transition function also. Let me write same PDA in transition function. So for first a z0 tends to a z0. Write del of a a z0. This is a state a. This is a input alphabet a and this is topmost stack symbol is z0. You are going to same state a. So you will write a a z0. This is this part. From Z0, you are going to A Z0 means you are pushing A. Next, I will write for this del of A A A. This is state A. This is input alphabet A. This is topmost stack symbol A. It goes to A A A. This A A is we are pushing A above A. Next for this B A tends to epsilon means for input symbol B we are popping A. Del of A. This is state A, B is the input symbol, A is the topmost stack symbol, we are going to state B and this is epsilon means we are popping. Next we will do for this transition, so del of 
B, B, A. State B, input symbol is B. A is the topmost track symbol. And we are going to same state B and epsilon. Epsilon means you are popping. Next, we will do for this. So, del of B, B is the state B. Epsilon, epsilon is the input symbol. Z0, that is the topmost track symbol. And we are going to state C, Z0. For designing PDA, first you need to think how we will operate this track. For which input you will push, for which input alphabet you will pop. First you imagine that, then you can easily design the PDA. Let's see another language. A power M, B power N, M, N greater than equal to 1 and M value greater than equal to N. So number of A is greater than or equal to number of B. Which string it will accept? It will accept A, A, B, then 3A, 2B, 4A, 2B. It can accept simply A, B also. It can accept equal number of A followed by equal number of B plus number of A can be more than number of B. So let's there is a 3A and 2B. For first A, you push one A. For second A, you push one A. For third A, you push one A. Then for first B, you pop one A. Then for second B, you pop one A. Then one A is left. So what you will do? For just epsilon input, you can pop the rest of the A. In that way, you can design a PDA for number of A is greater than number of B. Let's design the PDA. Then for input A, if topmost tag symbol is Z0, push A. Let me take a string 3A, 2B. Now for first A, topmost tag symbol is Z0, it will push A. Then for second A, it will also push A when topmost tag symbol is A. So for A, if topmost tag symbol is A, it will push A. Next for B, it will pop A. So we will go to another state by popping A. For input alphabet B, if topmost tag symbol is A, it will pop A. Now 3A is just push 3A. Then for first B, it will pop A. Then there are more B. So that you just write in loop. Now for B input, if topmost tag symbol is A, it will pop A. Now for this B, it will pop A. Rest, there are some A left. So what we will do? For epsilon input means without an input string, if topmost tag symbol is A, pop A. So you can write like this, epsilon, A tends to epsilon. Now just for epsilon, we'll pop A. Next, topmost tag symbol is Z0. So by epsilon, it will just skip Z0 and it will go to final state. So without this transition, rest are same as a power n, b power n, n value greater than or equal to 1 as the previous PDA. It can also accept equal number of a followed by equal number of b without using this. Here it is in loop. So it can just pop the number of a and it can go to final state. Okay. So it will accept m value greater than or equal to n. Let 3a and 3b. This will also accept by this PDA for first a it will push A, then for second A, it will push A, then for third A, it will push A, then for B, it will pop A, then for next B, it will pop A, then for next B, it will pop A. And by epsilon, it will just skip Z0 and goes to final state. If M value greater than N, then it will use this transition. If M value equal to N, it will not use this transition. So this is a PDA for m value greater than equal to n. Let's see another example. Here language is a power m, b power n, m, n value greater than equal to 1, m less than equal to n. So which string it will accept? It will accept a, 2b, then a followed by 3b, 2a followed by 3b. It can accept also equal number of a followed by equal number b as m value is less than equal to n. So let's design the PDF for this. Let me take a string 2a followed by 3b. Then for first a, if topmost tag symbol is z0, it will push a. So write in self loop for a z0 tends to a z0. Then for second a, if topmost symbol is a, again it will push a. Write down a, a tends to a a. Next by seeing b, it will pop 
a for first b it will pop a then there will be more b so make a self loop and write for b a tends to epsilon now for this b it will pop a now b is left but in stack no alphabet is there so what we will do we will just skip z0 for rest of the b next just write down for b we will skip z0 for this b we will just skip z0 then suppose there are more b for that also we will skip z0 that's why write in low next lastly there is epsilon so by epsilon it goes to final state by skipping z0 now this is the pda for m value less than equal to n so this transition is for m less than n if you are not using this then this will be pda for m equal to n how to design pda for context free language first imagine how will push and pop in stack if you can imagine that then you can easily design the pda in next lecture i will design some more pda for some more context free language if any doubt just ask me in comment thank you